Alright, so I just got a bunch of push mowers from the recycling center. Traded a uh, Murray ride mower. Or not, yeah, I took in a Murray ride mower. Uh, I think 12 engines from uh, push mowers and one ride mower engine. And a pressure washer, that was a piece of junk. And yeah, and a bucket of uh, scrap metal from the trailer house. And I got 10 push mowers in, and a blower, a generator engine with a taper shaft, which seems to be a coincidence that I just bought one from a uh, TH1994-0305. And I got another pressure washer. So I'll have a backup uh, generator engine in case if I get another one. And here are all the push mowers. See, I got a rally, a four horse, bring to Stratton, a snapper, which I might fix it up and restore it. It's a three horse. And of course, um, a three and a half horse Tecumseh uh, Murray push mower. I mean, it'll be easy to sell. I mean, if it's a carburetor problem, it's not that hard to fix on what it comes to these, depending on what the deal is. Uh, this one is kind of like the worst one of all of them. It's got a bent handlebar there. It's missing the handlebar and the uh, carburetor and gas tank is missing, but I got plenty of those, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. And I don't think it has it. Yeah, it does have a spark plug. I haven't really tested it to see if it has compression. Uh, I haven't tested this one that has compression. It's all complete. It had a bunch of wire that was holding this up, and, but I hate it when people just do stupid things like taking a, uh, let's see, which one can I, they, t they take a piece of rope and they tie it around this thing and pull it back so it'll run all the time and then they can just, you know, choke it or something. I mean, that's stupid. I mean, you might as well just go ahead and buy this little cable that breaks. Well, this one's broken, but, um go and buy a new cable for seven dollars and it'll fix the mower. I mean that's some of the cases are this one's missing the guard but yeah, you can get one off of one of mine. And this one, both the rally and this one have a bagger. This is a Murray four and a half horse. Really this is a three and a half horse, not a four and a half horse. Just to let y'all know because they ridden by torque now. Uh, so yeah it's got a bagger. The uh, safety look Safety lever works. It doesn't have compression. Well, I can't remember if this one does. Yeah, it's got compression. I think it just has a little bit of a knock in it. Um, this one, the pull starter needs to be fixed on it. Both of those have compression. Pull starter needs to be fixed on both of those. Those quantums are sometimes a pain. Um, here's another one. It's a weed eater. And it, I think it has compression. Didn't even check. It needs a new spark plug because that one busted off. And it needs a safety uh, cable. So most of these do need safety cables. Even this one. This one is exactly the same as the one that I just got fixing up there. And so yeah, I have two of those to sell. And this one right here has no compression, but I might throw gas in it and see what it does. And yeah, just try it out. Sometimes they just been sitting a long time and they just haven't been cranked out. This one looks like it's just been sitting under a tree for a long time, but anyways, that is definitely not six horsepower as it says. But the uh they're all rated by torque as I said, but the carburetor and gas tank is exactly the same as all the three and a half horse, so um this engine pressure washer is probably, the pump is probably bad, I mean it's missing all the parts to it and it doesn't even have to spray anything. I'm just going to use this as like a holder or something, maybe for like a generator or something and then take the engine off and maybe put it on something else because those horizontal Hondas are real hard to find in a scrapyard <laughs> or for cheap. So yeah, that's all my push mowers. I don't think I skipped any. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to start on this one first. 
put a spark plug in it, see if it's got compression, replace the diaphragm, clean the gas tank, clean the carburetor, and it should be fine. That's usually my normal steps of getting it fixed. But first, I really got to check all this stuff like the pull starter. Pull starter works. Uh, safety cable works. It might need to be pulled up. And it's a high wheel lift or a little bit higher. That one's higher than this one, but yeah. So anyways, um, I don't usually make videos of my push mowers, but since I got a whole bunch today, might as well. I got all the mowers over there stripped down to just the decks. You know, you keep the decks for spare parts. And just in case if I get some more engines, you know, I can always, if you get a, you know, push mower with a bad deck, you can always take the engine off and put it on those decks. So yeah, that's everything I got. So I'll go ahead and get to work on them. And, you know, I don't know, stuff like that blower. I mean, I, I just got that one because it's the nicest one that was there. So anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching.